I didn't agree with his politics, but I'd like to reassure him that everyone knows he's innocent. He sounded quite flamboyant in the 80s and 90s, but this evening it sounds quite broken. So I was just asking how he is coping with it. <sighs> I'm feeling better than I was, and I'm going to see the fight through. So there's no end to this. I, I sometimes think that the Metropolitan Police hope I will either go away or die. I have no choice in the latter matter, but I'm certainly not going to go away, either for myself or for my friends or for others who may have been in this situation to try to stop this happening to anyone else again. Do you think that the time is approaching when you can try and put this behind you and you can lead a, a normal life? Because this isn't a normal life, is it? It isn't a normal life. There is no normal life left for me until the Metropolitan Police are prepared to settle my just claim because I cannot decide what my life should be when you don't know what resources you have or haven't got for the future. So my life is in suspended animation until I get settlement from the Metropolitan Police. They know that. I appeal through this programme for them to settle with my lawyers on these matters. <laughs>